Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. In the last one, we actually lost a major party member. Bobby the Bomb Mom is actually gone. And I'm just gonna say, I'm actually really gonna miss him. He was actually a major fun character to actually voice and honestly just read his dialogue in general. He's pretty funny. I did meme on him a little bit, and I'm actually really surprised he's gone. And honestly, I can't believe he's gone in general. So with that, we're actually going to continue, and I'm actually going to grab this uh, world pipe, since that is a free teleport to this area, so honestly, might as well grab it. But in the last one, we got into the Scorching Sand Paper Desert, and for some reason, the sun is blacked out. And a place that's supposed to be hot, and it's not even hot here either, apparently, based on what Olivia has said. So honestly, I don't know what's going on here. But other than that, let's continue on with what we were doing. And that definitely looks like a fire elemental tower if I've ever seen one. So I was right on the elementals. Okay, so... Let's go in there. I think that's the first place we should go because based on everywhere we've been, we've always had to go to the Velemental first before we went to the streamer. So let's go to the Velemental first, just in case. Hmm, what's this? It looks like there's a way inside. We should try it out. Yeah, let's try it out. Maybe it's not a Velemental place. Whoa, look at this huge linky guy. And the top almost looks like someone we know. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks like a toad. Is this a elemental tower, or is it not? It looks like one. Stupid shoe. Let me let me save, please. Since we're over here, might as well save in front of the tower, the dungeon, if it is one. And let's go up. It actually. Am I right on it being a elemental dungeon? Woo! That's a lot of stairs for you. I mean, thanks for carrying me so often. Uh, no problem, Olivia. Do you think we're in this Linky Tower's head yet? Who knows, actually. Well, let's check the map just in case. No, it's not a dungeon. Strange. What's going on here? More hier hieroglyphics? Um, where that strange writing? I don't suppose you want me to try reading again. There sure is a lot of this strange writing around. Yeah, there is. Wonder what's going on with it. What's this? Hey, it's a cute little window there. You can see outside or, or a, a place a little knickknack. Should we try putting something there to see how it works? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... It looks like we need the other eye, maybe. Because I'm pretty sure this is the top of it. And on the left one, it seems like it's filled. And on the right one, it looks like it's not filled. So it looks like we need some kind of eye... Okay, so this place is useless to us right now. Unless we can find that, I guess, green gem? Or whatever that is, honestly. Green glass? Huh. Okay. Well, first things first, we need to find some cactus green. Put it in a furnace, make some cactus green dye. And then we need to um, find some glass by um, burning some of this glass in a furnace. I'm joking, I just need to make a Minecraft jo joke since it's been a while since we're my Minecraft series on this channel. And honestly, I wanted to make one. I, you ever take a close look at the top of the tower? It looks familiar, right? Like a weird looking face. On a second by, it's actually kinda handsome. Yeah, it's a toad. Kinda looks like you, buddy. Just gonna be honest. Well, I'm gonna just continue on towards the streamer then, since we don't really know where that thing is. So, wait a minute. The streamer is underground. That's not good. Okay, then. Is that a... Oh, yep, that's definitely a folded dry bone. So we're actually going to get to fight dry bones in this game. Uh, don't you think we should try following the streamer first? Um, okay. Well, let's go over to the streamer, then. Not sure if we're going to be able to go into it. It's literally underground, so... Not sure why you wanted us to go here first. Hey, it's the end of the streamer. We did it. Yeah, we did. You know, it wasn't easy to get here. Following the red streamer and then the blue one, we've had some hard moments and some sad ones. But now finding the yellow streamer like this, it feels like we finally caught a break. No, we didn't. It's literally under the ground. Wait, where's the end? 
Is it buried in the sand? Yeah, you said easy. This ain't easy. Oh, no. Yeah, thanks for saying it was easy. Far from it. What are we gonna do? We can't dig into the sand, can we? No, we can't. Unless you want to grab that shovel that I found inside the breezy mines that we were just in. But I don't think we're doing that. Wait, wait, there's something written on the base. You can't read that, remember? Maybe it's instructions for how to dig down. I highly doubt it. Hmm, yes, yes. I bet you can't read it. It's those mysterious letters again. I can't make folds or tails of this. Uh, just when my spirits were so high. I don't know what to do. And the sun is just gone. I just need a ray, a ray of light. One bright ray would do so much for me right now. Hmm. Well, there's your rays. Whoa, there's at least three rays of light right over there. Maybe even four. Hehe, <laughs> they're giving me hope again. And they're so beautiful. Okay, that's where we're going then. Rays like that could only come from a lively place filled with lots of helpful people, right? True. Maybe there's even someone there who can read those mysterious letters for us. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Okay, let's head to the town? On qu quote un quotation marks? Um, and also let's get this origami toad since I definitely knew it was one. Because I actually ran into an origami cactus before. Because in Shogun Studios, you can actually go to the right and the left of these stage rooms. Which I ended up doing when I went back and um, went and collected a lot of the toads. I was missing a couple of them because you actually need the thousandfold arms for a couple of the toads I missed. And I couldn't use thousandfold arms because you actually need Olivia for that. So I kind of collected it as much as I could. So we're actually really close to being 100% toads as of so far. But other than that, um, yeah, there was a origami cactus toad on the desert... Um, what do you call it? Desert stage in the Shogun Studios Tower, which was actually kind of cool. And then there was actually a um, a box, one of the treasure boxes, with a Piper Macho uh, Sniffet inside it, which is actually pretty cool. And kind of bringing back memories of the whole uh, little stage show that we did. But other than that, let's continue. Hello, by unfolding me, you subscribe to a service. And that is I that I like to call Ask a Cactus. Did you know that you can leave a boot car anywhere, and it will come back when you use a whistle? Yeah, I kind of knew that. Sorry, I was a cactus for so long. I kept my brain active for coming up with this idea. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, no problem. I'm guessing every toad and person around here has a boot car like this. Honestly, it's a pretty cool contraption. I like it. Reminds me a lot of Mario Kart, in, in all honesty. Which... Although there was only one reference to it so far that I've noticed, I do definitely like Mario Kart references, since that is a game that I like to play a lot. I haven't gotten to play the uh, Switch one yet, which is just a remake of the Wii one, honestly, but I haven't got to play it yet, and honestly I want to try um, out the new one uh, that's coming out with the cars, um, the actual like real-life cars that you hook up to your Switch. I'm not sure how it's going to actually work, but it sounds like it's going to be really fun. But other than that, that's all I can really say. I've only seen so like such little of it, and you kind of need to set it up as well. So I'm not actually sure how much to kind of, you know, kind of say what it is, because I barely know of it myself. But let's continue, though. Wow, look at this. The lights, the sights, it's all so bright. What a night. I'm a poet, right? Yeah, you are. That was actually pretty good. Good on the actual rhyming there. Ah, uh, boot car parking, one spot only open. Oh, okay. So only one boot car in this area then. Hey, nice job with the parking. No problem. I at least try. Ah, uh, welcome to Sniff City, a desert oasis by the Sniffits. Ah, uh, you might have heard some other name for it, just disregard that. Ah, uh, Sit Sniffy. That's a weird name. But I can't deny that this place looks really cool. With this many folks bustling around, we are sure it's to, some to find someone who can help with the mysterious letters, Mario. Maybe. You never know. Let's check this. You can't read it. Okay, so we definitely need someone here. So does that mean we're going to be adding one of these guys to my party? Ooh, accessory shop. Fun, funky, and functional. I have accessories for sale. They are good. This is the entirety of my sales pitch. 
Okay. Ooh, that's really good. That's really good. Silverheart is literally an upgraded version of one of my charms I'm using right now. And then Silver Guard is also an upgraded charm I'm using. Okay, we need to get both of those at some point. So we need coins. We need an extra 5,000-ish. So let's buy the Silver Heart Plus first, because that actually gives us more fight, um, fighting power when it comes to health and the battles that we do. And honestly, having an extra little bit of health is never a bad thing. Although the guard thing is also really good. I'm just going to be honest about that. Let's throw the health on right away, actually. So it looks like you can't use both. Okay. Well, makes sense. Let's see if we can get back there. Uh, actually, I don't think we can, actually. Strange. Is there a reason why we can't get to that, um, what looks to be one of those fax machine toad places? Hmm. Well, let's help this guy seesaw. He looks a little bored. Let's help him out a little bit. There you go, buddy. I'll let you have a little bit of fun. Okay, there you go. Hope you like that, little buddy. Uh, let's see here. Well, first off, we could save. I think that's always a good thing. Let's fill in the hole because I already know I'm going to fall into this if I forget to. Uh, where should we go exactly? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I say the big palace looking place. What do you guys think? I think that should be a good place to go. And also it looks like we can't go up the left side anyway, so... Oh, there's a toad here. That's weird. I wonder why there's a toad sitting around here. Hmm. Can I get to him? Don't think so, actually. Ah, uh, welcome to Sniff City Royal Hotel, Traveler. Okay. Sniff City Ho Royal Hotel, okay. Oh, it's incredible. We've been working pretty hard, right? Do we deserve a little rest? Maybe even room service? Yeah, sure, you know what? Uh, let's check the right first, just in case. How do you get to that question mark block? Don't know yet. It looks like maybe from the top. But I don't know how to get to the top of there yet. So I guess we'll find out by going in here. Ooh! He's got a key. Can we steal his key? Probably not. <laughs> I would like to try though, honestly. Ooh, open. Open this, I guess? Let's check on our right first. Um. Oh, there's some toads here. Let's save this guy real quick. Might as well. Maybe he has some information too. Might as well. Uh, wait, I have been missing a pool party. Just fold me back up, Mario. Okay. Oh, he's getting out of here. That's weird. Why is he running out of here? That's strange. Wait a minute. Um. Wait, there's a box over here. But I don't think that leads anywhere. I think that's just another way out. Let's go left. That one's locked. Okay. But it looks like we can jump over the speakers, maybe? Yeah, we can. Ooh, secrets. Okay, um... How do we turn... Oh, there's a rat in here. Hello, um... Uh, I actually forgot the names of these. I'm just gonna call it Ratatouille for a second. Okay, so how do we fight Ratatouille's again? I actually don't rem remember exactly. Hmm. Well, first off's first. We need to figure out how to line these guys. This is a weird one, ain't it? Yeah, it really is, actually. Maybe like this. Yep, that's definitely it. We just figured it out. GG, easy. We've been really good at these puzzles recently. Thankfully, all my um, training has actually paid off. And it looks like our health charm actually gives us 25 HP. Not bad. That's actually really good. That's an extra 15 HP. Always, always good. So... With that, we can actually survive a lot more than we could before. And this is easy. This is just literally grab hammer and just spam A until we just knock him out. So, doink, right on the head, and down goes all the rats. Easy. Not bad at all. Though I didn't expect to find a rat here. Oh, that's what actually what we needed to do. In order to get our thousand-fold arms. I wonder what exactly we're picking up. I think we're picking up the, um the broken part of the stairs, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Oh no, grab this, actually. Okay, turn it, let go, grip again, turn it again, let go, turn it, and oh, we turned off the pull. Why though? 
Do we really need to do that? Well, that was kind of rude. Well, let's tear off the tape here since I just noticed it. And let's actually go out into here and see why we did that. Oh man, what happened to my wave? Eh, fountain surfing was played out anyway. I'm gonna go back to my room and invent tub surfing. Oh, that's why we did it. We saved a toad. Because he was standing on top of one. Okay, well, let's save him real quick. Oh, it was literally the full toad was the surfboard. I thought he was just the top part of the little paper airplane, but nope, he was the entire tire surfboard. That's that's kind of messed up. Ah, surfing isn't as fun when you're the board. Well, that's all behind me. I'm free. Free to pursue a life where no one can take advantage of me again. I was actually here for a conference on investing. Something about the pyramids in the area. Uh, but you don't want to hear about that scheme. Here, take this, uh, just a small token of my gratitude. Ooh. Ten extra HP. Ooh, I always like me some more HP. Thank you, Toad. Wow, that, that guy is a trooper just for giving me that. I'm so glad I did that now. We haven't actually gotten many of those Toads, so that's actually nice to get that on camera for once. Ooh, there's a Toad down here. How do we save him? Oh, I already see it. Push it on the right, just like a pedal hop would. And let's save him. I've missed ten straight continental breakfasts. Aw, that sucks. I always like me, um, I always like me breakfast. I'd actually prefer breakfast over any other meal, if I'll be honest. But it has to be, like, restaurant-style breakfast, if I'll be honest. Ah, uh, welcome, welcome. It's always such a pleasure to encounter travelers like yourselves. Unfortunately, we are fully booked at the moment. I've heard that sleeping in the desert is an option. Hmm. No, you have a key behind you. Oh, we're not looking for a room. We're looking for a person who can read this mysterious letters. Is there anyone like that staying here? Hmm, maybe. Oh, uh, Professor Toad. You're working with him. Well, he's out right now, unfortunately. I suppose I can give you the key to his room. If you're working together, have a good day. Oh, thanks, I guess. So, we did get a key eventually, then. Professor Room Key. It's the key to the professor's room, but where is he? Um, seems like there's only five rooms to go to, so... We'll find it eventually. Uh, Mario, I, I think the clerk thinks we're working with some kind of Professor Toad. How lucky are we? This might be our chance to meet someone who can read the mysterious letters. Yeah, maybe. Um... Up the stairs at the end to the second hallway. Can't miss it. Up the stairs at the end. I'm making sure. Second floor hallway. Okay. Can't miss it. Okay. Anything else that I need to know, or is that it? I hope you guys can keep each other busy talking about... What was it? Archery arts? Or for hours and art hours? Uh, no. I can't wait to meet this mysterious professor. Well, it's definitely a toad, so... Wonder what he's like. Do you think he's kind of like, um, Captain Toad in a way? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, there's that green gem that we saw. So it looks like, yeah, you need to place the gems inside the eye, eye bits. And there's the fire element, so I was right. So there is a fire one. And it looks like a phoenix, actually. That's pretty cool. Hey, look at this. There's a huge picture all along the wall. Incredible. What's, what is it, though? It's almost like a comic book. Would we call it a comic wall? I guess. And it's got more of those letters, so we can't read it. Oh, and there's some more of that mysterious lettering, too. I sure hope the toad was, um, we're looking for can help us read the language. It seems like it's everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely looks like that. It looks like put the gems in the eye, and then you can open the fire elemental location, maybe? And then a shrugging toad of some sort? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, the- oh, there's his room was literally the only one upstairs. Okay then. Oh, wrong key. I think I just used the Shogun Studios one. Oh no, maybe I did use the right one. Ah, oh, pardon me, you two. Hmm? Oh, it's the Sniffit again. I completely forgot earlier. Weary Downer uh, upgraded your friend to a different room. 
He's on the first floor in one of the ba uh, Basique uh, trademark rooms. Uh, patent pending. Sorry for the mix-up. So, who's staying in this room? Uh, just follow me, I'll show you. Um, okay. Why did you downgrade him? That's strange. Well, downstairs we go. Was he in the basement? Probably. You never know. He's on the right side, okay. Well, let's save real quick just in case, because this place is kind of weird, I'll be honest. And here we are, through this doorway, the, and then the first door on your left. My apologies. First door on the left. Okay, got it. So, this one. Okay, and let's use our key. And let's go inside. He's not even in here. Oh, it's pretty nice. I want a room service. It's my first time in a hotel. Really? And look at this bed. It's classy yet cozy. I could just lie there and unfold. I don't think you want to unfold. I don't know what happens if you unfold yourself as origami. Uh, but I suppose we don't really have time to relax. Yeah, we really don't. So is there anything around here that can help us find the pr Professor Mario? Maybe his diary? Archaeology, archaeology, blog day XX. So that'd be 20, day 20. At long last, a clue. This may unlock the secrets of the Ancient Ones. I have recently discovered an ancient treasure, an item that could prove key in my research. I have loosely translated its name as the Sun Essence Incense, and it appears to play a role in certain ancient ceremonies. Archaeology Log Day... Oh, I guess it's just scratched out numbers then, because that would be 20 again, but it, the last one was 20, so... Day Redacted. I have obtained the Sun Incense from the Sniffit for a fair price. My preparations are complete, and I now make I now make for the Sun Altar. The Sun Altar, you say? Uh, what did you learn, Mario? Is that his journal? I can't read his handwriting, so you'll have to help me. It does say. Does it say anything about where he went or if he took anything with him? Yeah, Sun Incense and the what do you call it? The, um, fire? I'm pretty sure it's wherever the fire elemental is. So, fire elemental area plus sun incense. Wonder what that is for. Ooh, hello, Toad. Honestly, I don't think those are beetles. I think they're scarabs. Honestly, I always think they're like cockroaches or something, but they're not. I'm pretty sure. Wow, a personal wake-up call delivered from a ringing hammer. Blow, this service here is amazing. Hmm, I'm surprised you like that. Oh, we can go in this room. Oh! I don't think that's the one that was surfing on the, um, thing earlier, so... Sorry for coming in your room. Wait, check. Oh, this has something we can read as well. You can't read it. I have a feeling we should come back here later, because that might have some interesting writing on the wall that might help us later. Uh, what's the ancient one? Whoever is in this next room over won't shut up about him. These walls are too thin. Hmm, no clue. I'm guessing the fire elemental would be the ancient one, but I could be wrong. Unless he's talking about um the great and powerful ancient uh ancient horror monster demon thing. You know, the big ol' uh, what you would call a quote unquote quote uh demonic uh kraken. I'm not gonna go into the name because some people actually don't want to hear that name because some people actually believe it's a real legend, so I'm just gonna you know just for the sake of those people that do actually believe the legend, I'm gonna not say the name out because they because they might think of it as like summoning it because I I know a couple people that believe that kind of thing. I don't think it personally, but I'm just gonna respect it just in case. Um, let's see here. So where could that be? Ooh, is this a shop? Ah, traveler, welcome to our oasis paradise. You must be tired from traveling such a long way. Perhaps you'd like to enjoy a uh, rest at the town's fine luxury hotel. I am in no way affiliated with the hotel, and I do not receive a commission. Nope, nah. Hmm. Lies, I say. Lies. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a origami toad on top of that snippet statue up there. Okay, so it looks like we're leaving, so let's just do that. So we need to find this, uh, thing? Wherever it is? Oops, sorry for moving the chair. 
and just getting comfortable because sometimes sitting in the same spot for a long time is not as comfortable as you guys might think. So honestly, being able to move every now and again is a nice thing. So where could we have to go? Maybe down here because Olivia stopped us from going down here earlier. So maybe this is where we need to go? Is that a paper macho boo? It is. Okay, so how do you fight these guys? Can we destroy them? Oh, there's a folded boo as well. Look at that. So we're going to be fighting boos very soon. Can I just ram them? Nope. Okay, so you can't just ram the paper macho enemies. Got it. Ah, uh, where should we go? Hello. Don't... Don't attack me, please. I don't need to, uh, figure out what you're gonna do to me, honestly. I was thinking we might be able to ram through the walls, but yeah, it doesn't look like that's happening. Looks like we're here early, though, honestly. So... this isn't where we're supposed to be, then. Okay. Well, there's another one of those toad statues in behind us, but I'm not sure how to get there, exactly. Well, let's just ram any enemy we can. And try and figure out where we need to go, because honestly, I am drawing a blank. Well, let's get this origami toad since he's easy to get. And since we see him, honestly. Oh, thank you. My life's dream was to live as a beetle on a cactus, but it turned out to be not that great. Wait, is he actually telling the truth? And apparently we found all the toads here. Other than the... Ooh, flashy iron boots. So now we have a stronger version of our iron boots to be able to be purchased, at least. That's always good, honestly. Stronger and fancier than the regular iron boots. They can deal huge damage. Well, obviously, they are fancy. So... Wonder how much damage that's gonna do, because... Based on the fancy hammer that we got, that thing does some pretty good work. What was it, 46 damage? Ooh. The bird from, um... What do you call it? Uh... No, actually, that's not the same bird. But it might be... Um, a paper folded version. What's with the skull, though? Is that a toad? Let's smack it. Oh, it is a toad. Uh, did you know that we all have skeletons inside our bodies? Well, obviously. Well, let's get all these toads here since they're pretty easy to get to. I need closure. Hmm. Okay. How about you? Do you need closure as well? Morbid stuff, huh? Uh, I guess. How about you? Ah, uh, free at last. Yeah, free at last. Okay, weird. Weird lines from them, but honestly, what else can I say? Is this another one of the... Yeah, it is another one of those toad towers. Oh, another one of those linky guys. Should we go inside it? You never know, he could be inside one of these. Might as well check. There's no point in not doing it. I'm gonna grab this confetti bag, since I could see it from the inside of the rock. So, let's actually check all these towers, just in case. You never know, maybe we'll find them. And there's a fire of elemental symbol. Okay. Let's actually go on top of it, just in case, because Olivia might point it out. Oh, it's a, is that a new type of magic circle? Yep, it is. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before. What could it be used for? Looks like this is oil, maybe. Hmm. This big jar is filled with, uh, water or something, isn't it? But it's all dark and ooky. I don't think it's water, so I wouldn't drink it, Mario. Well, don't drink it either. Uh, woo, it smells bad, too. Please consider this a second warning against drinking the water. I don't think Mario was thinking of drinking it anyways. I'm pretty sure that's the same ink that the, um, what was it called, the Goopy Blooper? Gloopy blooper or whatever they called it. It, didn't, it wasn't called a blooper. I'm pretty sure of that. But it, it's definitely a blooper, let's be honest. It's just a giant version of it. But, hmm. Well, I don't see where we're supposed to be going, so... Strange. Where could the thing be? Wait a minute, I have an idea. Remember the thing that looked like a sun on the floor at the beginning of this area? This, um, the sunstone that I pointed out, maybe that's where he went. Maybe that's where the fire elemental is. So let's go straight there, because I have a feeling that might be the case. It's always a worth a shot, honestly, right? So let's see if I was right on that. I don't see him, but let's go towards it, honestly. 
He might show up, you never know. It's always worth a shot. And let's click on it. Nope, it isn't the case. Okay, we might do a skip then. Just in case, because I don't know how long it's going to take me to find this area. Unless it's like on our right or something, like a random path we didn't turn into. Unless I find a path right now. I'm just checking the side of the walls just in case. Uh, where... Okay, this is different. What is this? Uh... Eh? Okay, I guess we're not doing a skip then. Um, I'm gonna push these all pointing towards each other. Just in case, because I have an idea. I have a feeling it's kind of like Stonehenge, where all of the things are kind of like linear, pointing towards each other. So I'm going to kind of go with that it being my guess on what to do with this puzzle. Because it's definitely a puzzle, let's be honest. Like, look at how I'm hitting it. Why can't I hit it? Okay then, that's weird. I couldn't hit that. Let's try it again. Maybe I was just not in- yeah, I wasn't in the right angle then. Let's try it. There we go. Let's push this one into place as well. I think this is what we should do. I could be wrong though. Oh! I did it right! Okay. What is this exactly? Here? Yeah. It wasn't here before, that's for sure. A microphone stand? Is that a stand? It's it's calling to me. Okay, I'm guessing we gotta do another singing uh, dance number, I guess. Just looking at the sing? No, no, I couldn't, couldn't, could I? Oh, I don't think I can help myself. It's like a passion is welling inside my body. Check, check. One, two, one, two. Eleven benevolent ep elephants, less, lesser, leather, never weathered, weather, weather better. Jeez. What was that? Alright, I'm warmed up. Any requests? Uh, happy sappy. Oh, that's old, old Grand Sappy song. And then go with the flow, which is the one that the, um, the one oarsman toad, the single oarsman toad song, uh, sang. Uh, do happy sappy. It's been a while. I don't know if we have to do this. Feeling kind of sappy now. I didn't read this before. It's like I'm super happy now. Happy, happy. I'm feeling big and burly, and it must be surely been you. Sorry if I'm not singing it. It's just I don't feel like... Um, I think I would have to do that in post, because honestly, with how I... Uh, like, do these videos, it's kind of hard for me to sing because my voice is already kind of down and out. Oh, day by day, oh, row by row. One thing this old scholar knows. Oh yeah, this song was uh, a, lot sh a lot slower, wasn't it? Okay, come on, Olivia. Life is good if you go with the flow. True. Very, very true. I liked but I like the songs of this game, I'm gonna be honest. The music track in this game is really good. Alright, I'm warmed up. Any requests? Uh no. Is that it? Really? Uh huh. Weird. Why did that just randomly appear here? Strange. Was that always there? And I just didn't see it. I don't think so. Weird. I'm gonna get that toad later. I just wanna Kind of figure out what we're doing here, honestly. Oh, here we go. We didn't go this way. Okay, so th there's definitely something over here, right? You think? No, there isn't. Weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab this question mark block since we're in the area. And there's an origami toad lizard. I like that. I like lizards. Although I don't have one anymore. I used to. Ha I actually used to own lizards. In specific, um, what do you call them? Uh, leopard geckos. Which is actually one of the um, coolest little lizard uh, variants that you can get. If you ever looking in the town, like in town for like looking for like fun, like lizard slash pets to own for like rept reptiles, I really recommend leopard geckos. They're really chill, although they're not the smartest. They're definitely like w one of the more chill type of reptiles you can get. Definitely a lot nicer than. Um, Bearded, uh, bearded dragons can be, because bearded dragons can kind of be aggressive if you're not careful. With training them, that is. But leopard geckos are more like... I have, The ones I've had weren't aggressive at all. They could be aggressive, I'm pretty sure. But 
Hmm. But other than that, I actually have no clue where to go. Um, I'm gonna read this one more time, seeing if it maybe spawns Professor Toad, but... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna do that, so... I'm gonna be right back. Um, see you boys and girls very, very soon once I figure this out. Or very, very, uh, later, but... Who knows how long this is gonna take me, because I don't know where to go, I don't, honestly. So, BRB, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls, so I actually get to look this up. Apparently, I've been doing this completely wrong. So, you know how the book said to, that he bought the sun incense from somebody? Well, this is, happens to be the guy that he bought it from. So, we actually have to get the sun incense ourselves, and then go to the sun altar. So, I had to look this up, and I'm sorry about that. I wanted to do this completely spoil-free, and I accidentally got spoiled on there being something after you put in the sun incense. I'm going to say it after we get there, because I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. So, let's continue, though. Uh, thanks for your help. Friend Death Sniffit, the room is posh but tasteful. I may have rolled around on the bed a little bit. Don't worry, it happens all the time. Oh, that reminds me. Your colleague was asking after a particular trinket we had- Oh no, with, this is a snippet actually. Um, after a particular trinket we had on display. I didn't want to sell it to him, but he simply insisted, so I may have charged a bit more than it's worth. I've been feeling bad about that, so why don't you take another one for free? Okay, so that's why there's more- Okay, so that's why I was able to buy it. I wasn't sure on that, because it sounded like there was only one, so- at least now we have an incense that smells like the warm rays of the sun. I feel better now. Thank you for that. Now if you're lo still looking to meet up with your friend, he went off ha happily somewhere, I'm afraid. Hey, we don't offer con concierge services, but you may want to check it with um, in with him, the uh, desert help kiosk attendant in the town so you don't get lost. Okay, well, I already know exactly where we're going, so I'm going to do a nice skip because it's literally technically like a 2 minute and 30 second uh, drive all the way back, so I'll be right back, boys and girls. Sorry about another skip in this episode. I try not to have too many of those. Okay, we are finally at the Sun Altar, so what we need to do is actually throw in our... Oh, we actually have more space for useful items now. So I, so I was wrong on that being the max amount. That's actually good. I actually thought we were maxed out for a second there. So, let's throw the sun incense on top of the golden pot of sand, and let's see what happens. Oh, it's smoking. Well, it is an incense. And the smoke is so fragrant. It smells like a sunny day. Oh, it's like we, we're just laying out in the sun without a care in the world. So, this is actually about to do something, and this is why I said I got spoiled. So, I did save before this, and this is why. Um, get ready for another mini-boss, or boss, I guess you could say. Kind of like the glooper blooper. This is gonna be a, um, a fight against a giant paper macho, uh, pokey. Oh no, it's a sandstorm. I reach out. I'm scared, Mario. What's going to happen next? Well, we're about to fight a giant pokey. Oh, look at those spikes! But that's not too bad. Maybe it's just a cool cactus. Hi, cactus! Uh, it's far from that. It is a moving cactus known as a pokey. And these guys are dangerous. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Yeah, you're not kidding anybody. This isn't good. It really isn't. Uh, I don't know where the weak spots are. So... I did say I got spoiled about this guy, but I didn't know how to actually fight him, so this technically... I don't know what to do. But it looks like we get our boot for this, so let's get in the boot. That definitely seems like a good idea. I'm gonna say ram him with the boot, if we get the ability to. So let's try that. Never mind, don't do that. That hurt a lot. Okay, uh... Oh, maybe, maybe you get in the boot and you wait for him to stop like that. Okay, I understand it. That's exactly what you do. So you use the boot as much as you can to not get hit. Smart. I like this. This is pretty cool. Uh-oh. That is some big dust devils, and I do not want to get hit by one of those. I'll be honest. Okay, so it's going to be like the blooper, so it's going to summon things we need to worry about. 
Not sure if it's going to stay, though. But let's make him topple over by doing that. Get right into position. Oh, never mind. He's not stopped. No, the boat, boat car is blowing away. Can we get it back? Uh, no clue on that one. I'm just going to get rid of one of the stickers that was on his butt. So just to get a nice free easy um, hit on him. But uh, I'm not sure how we're getting our boot back. Oh, wait a minute. I know how to. Use the boot whistle. It'll definitely come back to us, right? You would think. Oh, it does. Okay. So, good thing I thought about that. Wait, is that really bad? I don't know if that's going to actually... Okay, only 15 damage. Okay. It's less than I thought it was going to be. Mm. Tornadoes are scary. Okay, where is he popping up? There he is. Let's get him to topple over. Wait a minute, he's doing something new. Mm. Drive, 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 drive. Okay, that was close. He cancelled out. Smack him in wherever we can. There we go. He hits one of his sticker stickers. And now he's down to his last little bit. So this shouldn't be too hard. Let's get inside our boot car for one last time. And let's see how we're going to actually get rid of this guy. Because honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe get him to ram into a wall, maybe? Oh, no, we can't. So we need to make him stop somehow. Oh, here we go. Maybe this will do it. Yep, here we go. Uh, oh, I think I know what to do. Get on top of him and then smack him. Okay, so we need to wait for him to do that again. Okay, so that's definitely how you do this. So let's make him cancel out this as fast as we can. And then we gotta get underneath him when he does that. I don't know the timing on it, but we're definitely gonna try and figure it out. Okay, let's get out of the boot car as fast as possible. Try and get up on top of this as fast as possible as well. And down goes the last sticker. Does that mean the pokey is down for the count? It seems like it is. And that might be Professor Toad. We were looking for him and that has to be him, right? He's definitely geared out. So that's where he was. I looked in every single tower, by the way. All those weird Toad Towers. I went inside every single one. and That's honestly where I thought he was going to be. Whoa, look at all the weird chunks of confetti. Hello, Toad. Um, I'm saved. Uh, oh, thank you. You were eaten by a cactus. What was it like? Oh, well... I'm gonna do his voice differently, because I want him to kind of sound different than the other Toads. Because he is kind of a special Toad, let's be honest. Well, all the things considered. It could have been worse. Uh, wait. Who are you? I've never seen anything like you. Are you one of the Ancient Ones? Tell me. Um, ancient little me. <laughs> no, no, I'm just Olivia. Nice to meet you. And what is going on with this altar? Who did this? It was us. Is that a good thing? Or is it a bad thing? Honestly, I'm not sure. Hmm, yes. It seems the ancient rituals were observed correctly. Well, you can read the writing. Well, of course. I'm a professor of ancient studies. This is writing, written in the language of the Ancient Ones. Studying it is uh, my life's work. Hmm, cool. Yes, we finally found the translator. Now he can tell us where, what this all means. Oh, I'm so excited to have a professor helping us now. Yeah, honestly, same. Oh, but before we begin, who are the Ancient Ones anyways? Yeah, who are they? Well, the Ancient Ones are people who existed in the geographical region a long time ago. Legend has it is that one of these Ancient Ones still survives today. I have been seeking this person for quite some time. It's a person. You see, I'm, I've dedicated my career to learning more about these ancient civilization based in the desert. One day I hope to unearth a legendary figure from one of these times in ancient texts. He is known as simply as Captain Teod. Captain Teod? You mean that weird, strange, like, human-like toad statue that we saw on the wall back in the, um, the hotel? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, Captain Von Who's It? Uh, what a funny name. Uh, what you think the captain person has something to do with the something, uh, called a sea chart? Oh, Captain Ode. Yeah, wait a minute. The fog. Wait, he's not ancient, though, is he? 
Maybe. Who knows? Professor, I think we should meet the Captain Teod person, too. Oh, but we need to do something about the streamer in the desert before that. Wait, can you come with us to help translate the mysterious writing? That might help out a lot. Yeah, it might help us out a lot, honestly. Uh, well, according to my research, there may be extensive evidence about Captain Teod hidden in the desert. Well, we kind of know where he is. Isn't he underwater based on what we were told earlier at the, um... At the Princess Peach by uh, Captain Seatoad? Honestly, that's probably where he is. Um, as a matter of fact, I was conducting research on the very altar when I was consumed. There is a non-zero chance that I may be uh, consumed again if I continue alone, and not just by my research. By another one of those pokies, I'm guessing? Ah, uh, but with Mario by my side, my survival might be more assured. Hmm, yeah, more than likely. Oh, I digress and blather. I accept your offer. Perhaps together we shall yet solve the mystery of the, um, or uh, mysterious ma Captain Teod. I think it's a different toad, honestly. Uh, great. Oh, this is exciting. Getting to work with an actual professor. Um, yes, yes, well, don't get too excited. Much of our time is merely spent uncovering incredible ancient relics and being chased by adversaries. Now I've noticed some ancient writing on the second floor of my hotel that might help us. They may hide a clue about your streamer as well. Uh, probably not. Wow, you're already helping so much. Definitely, actually, but I kind of had a feeling of going back there anyways. Uh, maybe you can h even re-explain all the complicated stuff from you just said along the way. I kind of spaced out. Yeah, definitely. But with that, I'm actually going to end this episode off here because... One, because it took a while to find him. And honestly, it was like 20 minutes that I took on my own time just to kind of find him. Because I didn't want to cheat by searching up. Which I ended up having to because the fact that I couldn't find out what to do. So, sorry about that, but we definitely know where to go now. So, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Also, sorry for popping the chair, because sometimes it makes weird noises. I don't know why. But, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, boys and girls, and have a wonderful rest of your day. See you all next time. Hey, boys and girls. Thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And... Hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.